101 6 uh, in a race of probably the, the closest race of the night maybe the 200 freestyle was the only closer one um, how aware were you of the of the swimmer two lanes over on that back 50 and never saw him or never um, thought about him the whole race you know I, I, I turned in uh, and checked on Gangloff and he was pretty much blocking the entire view that way so you know I figured uh, Mark was the, the biggest competition so he just kind of snuck in there on his boat you know, talk a little bit about where you're at in your training right now um, and coming into a part of the season that you probably are getting buried pretty bad. Yeah, you you actually hit it on the head right there. Um, out of the past three Grand Prix between Ohio State and uh, Missouri, this is definitely the uh, the least prepared I am for a meet. Um, we've gotten absolutely destroyed, especially the pro group, um, past five or six weeks out in Austin. So um, this has been. Uh, a, a tough past couple weeks and, and you know no preparation whatsoever, no speed work whatsoever. So, you know, it's it's that time of the season when you're supposed to be putting in that work. And um, it's it's a little frustrating when you race, but but the uh, the 200s are still to come and, and that'll be uh, probably a little bit better. Is it frustrating at all because this one's a little bigger from A, a com competition standpoint because there's so many names here and B, because they're passing out some money. And, you know, as a, a pro swimmer trying to make sure you're getting by, it's, do you ever say to Eddie in the last couple weeks, Eddie, man, I got to go make some money well, out there. There. See, that's uh, that's that's kind of the, the, the frustrating part about it is, is because you know with, with all of us competing for for this purse, you know it's going to come down to a couple points here and there, and, and that could mean uh, a couple thousand dollars, and and that's what's hard about tonight, um, you know. And, and Peter was the same way in the 200 free, um, getting out touch like he did. So <clears throat> when you're uh, when you're looking for stuff like that, you know you want to get your hand on the wall, and, and it's uh, frustrating when, when you get out touch like that. But uh, you know, in the grand scheme of things. You really can't mess with what's going on at the end of the year, so you know you don't want to you don't want to take rest right now and then regret that later on in the season. So I'm happy with where I'm at. Um, you know I'll deal with the frustration now and reap the benefits later on. I'm gonna be happy with the way you're racing at this point in the season. I mean you were my pick to to take these events this weekend because of the way you've raced. I mean going up against big names like Kitajima and not backing down, and, and the way you've raced. And you gotta are you sensing like you're you're feeling that? I mean minus tonight when you didn't see the guy out there. Are you feeling like you're getting some pretty good confidence when it comes to race strategy yeah, and racing? Yeah, absolutely. Um, we're still working on the hundred. You know that is uh, that event really just kind of exploded for me last year. And um, as as far as really finding that hundred stroke on a consistent basis, that's been a challenge right now. Um, but you know, as far as confidence goes, the the racing that I've been doing the past six months, the past year, it uh, it, it really helps uh, with, with uh, my mental state and, and preparing for you know who I'm going to race and, uh, and and the competition around the world. So you know, I'm I'm definitely in a very good place. And you just kind of got to put the little little setbacks that like tonight behind you, and look forward to the next one. How about outside the pool? I mean, going through the pro grind, you're obviously racing well, swimming well, training's going well. But what's going on outside the pool to keep you level? I mean, when you're going through all this stuff. It's actually, a great question. So uh, Pearsall and I actually just got a boat together out okay. in Austin. We got a Mastercraft X10, and uh, all decked out, and we've been uh, spending a lot of time doing some wake surfing and wakeboarding, and just kind of relaxing on the lake. So it's been a good getaway. It's kind of like a little mini vacation. Uh, we can be on the water in like 15 minutes from practice. So it's been uh, it's been really really uh, relaxing for us. That's awesome. Was it a little different when the uh, the college kids came home and had the uh, national championship trophy? Did that? change anything yeah, or was that you, a little celebration time? You know, I, I don't know if it necessarily changed much for us. Um, obviously they're uh, they're on a high right now and, and it's nice because it carries over into uh, into training for, for the summer. So, um, you know, it, it was kind of like what we went through at Auburn. It was, it keeps you excited about swimming and, and to see these guys coming back and, and really pumped up about the summer and, uh, and, and really on a high, it obviously spills over into our group. So, um, you know, it's, it's all good things that, that went on and, and uh, is going on right now. Good stuff. Best luck the rest of the weekend and through the summer, Eric. Thanks a lot, man.